<laughs> Shannon, what does this story tell you? <laughs> Nothing. It tells me that what well, we've always known, that Michael was a great competitor, but he wasn't the only great competitor. Magic, Bird, Isaiah were great competitors also. Isaiah was such a great... Isaiah did the very thing that Tom Brady has done every time he's lost the Super Bowl. Refused to shake the opposing quarterback's hand. Isaiah lost to Magic, lost to Jordan in the, what, 90, 90, 91. Lost to him. Wouldn't shake his hand. He was ostracized. Skip Bayless show say, you show me a good loser, I show you a loser. Isaiah was so upset that they had lost, he refused to shake Jordan's hand, and they ostracized him for it, they criticized him for it, and they kept him off the dream team for that. What, what does that have to do with this? But I'm just saying, competitor, mm. competitiveness. Mm. Somehow, Michael Jordan, it seems like every time somebody starts to play some, somebody's got to come out, some old guy got to come out of the woodworks and talk about what Jordan did. So... What about Bird? Was Bird not competitive, Skip? Yep, he was. Let me tell you what Bird did. Bird did one night, he played the Portland Trailblazers. He didn't shoot a shot with his right hand. He scored 47 using only his left hand. And they asked him why he shot only with his left hand. He says, I'm saving the right one for the Lakers. He was one steal in the three quarters. Three quarters, he was one steal away from having a quadruple double. Mm. KC Jones begged him to go back in the game. He says, you're only one steal away from a quadruple double. He says, I've done enough damage already. Mm. Is that not? Come on, Skip. This notion that Michael Jordan has a, a patent on competitiveness. Because if he did, Skip, why wasn't he 14 and 0 mm. in the playoffs? Why didn't he win all the championships? So this no, it's always like they're trying to like if anybody get close. Uh, 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 LeBron has a couple of good scoring streaks. Uh, KD, somebody's doing something. It's like the old guard want to hold on to that. It said, man, these young guys coming. But let me go tell you a story about how great Ma uh, uh, Michael was. We know Mike was great. We know he's an extremely competitive. The only difference is LeBron James and Kevin Durant doesn't have to sock someone in the eye to show that they're competitive. Mm. So for me, this story told me nothing that I didn't already know, a story that I hadn't already heard. These guys today are just as competitive. They want to win just as bad mm. as Michael wanted to. So this notion that Michael Jordan wanted to win worse than anybody else is just not true. Mm. He didn't want to win any more than anybody else. He just did win more than anybody else. No, he didn't. Else. There are a lot of guys. A lot of Celtics have more championships than Michael Jordan. 6-0 and oh with six finals MVPs. Well, Bill Russell is 11-1. Mm. They didn't have finals MVPs back then because I'm sure he would have been a bunch of them. So here we go again. Another day, another legendary Michael Jordan story. What, what you fail to recognize or give into is these, all, th these stories all shed light on the fact, once again, that he was the ultimate competitor. A lot of people competed hard. Larry Bird was pretty cold-blooded himself, but this was the ultimate competitor because nobody did things like this. And as Dominique said, and I'm sure it hurt Dominique to acknowledge this publicly, Dominique was pretty cold-blooded himself, but he said, you're playing against a killer who wants to win at any cost. Mike was a killer. He wanted to take your heart. But I had the same mentality. I wanted to take your heart, whoever was guarding me. And the point of this story was Dominique had the upper hand that night because his team was really good. They were about to finish 57 and 25. And they, they did lose to Detroit in the semifinals, in the playoffs. But Jordan's team was only 40 and 42 that year. This is 1987, mm -hmm. April of 87. So the audacity or... Dominique used another word for it, the guts or the you know what, yeah. to walk into the opposing locker room before the game mm -hmm. and walk up to poor Randy Whitman, who I think Michael believed would be guarding him mm -hmm. for much of the night, and, and just tap him on the leg and say, hey, lace him up. It's going to be a long bleeping night. Right. Say it right to his face, coming off games that Michael had scored 53-50, and then here came 61 that right. night. 53-50 and then 61. He was just unstoppable. Dominique actually prevailed in the game and hit a shot over Jordan to win the game 117-114. Mm -hmm. But the point was he, he was then in awe of just the, the raw audacity of, of that guy walking in our locker room, and he's still laughing about it. He said it was the most amazing thing to see because I'd never seen anybody do anything right. like that. Well, Jordan just kept doing things like that, which is why – he, he, he's clearly the goat. It, it's just another goat story. And 
LeBron can't compete with this because LeBron doesn't have cold-blooded killer in but, it. But, LeBron but, has never done anything like first this. First of all, I don't even know if they'll let you go in the locker room now because things, the way things have gotten out of hand, they have security. And so people are not going into other people's locker room. But I'm sure there are stories of Kobe. Kobe had Kobe dropped sixty what dropped sixty one and three quarters. Kobe had an eighty one point game. Kobe Kobe had like a stretch where he was just he lost his mind with the scoring. Skip this notion that because Mike was six and zero, oh, and everybody has these stories, it's somehow that Michael is more competitive. That's not the case. Just, so it so in other words, because Elon Musk has the most money, he's more competitive than Jeff Bezos. He's more competitive than that. Like, no, he's not. He's not. So, no, but you're connecting dots that don't connect. No, you saying just because he's six and oh, he's more competitive. No, That's because he not did true. things like this. So 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 hey. So because he didn't talk about it, look at Philip Rivers. You go look at the thing, Philip Rivers. All he's doing is talking trash to everybody. D lineman, cornerback, linebacker. You terrible. Oh, he got the. And he backed it up with how many Super Bowls? You see, but hold on. Tom Brady don't do no trash talking. All Tom know. Brady says is, "Let's go." I don't so, know. So, I, I, he'll talk back. If you start it, he'll finish it. But Michael Jordan started it, so you can't say that. You see, you have a different argument. All I'm saying, Tip. Michael Jordan is great. 80s, we know he was great, but you're telling stories doesn't diminish Kevin Durant. It does not diminish LeBron James or Steph Curry. I don't know if you're trying to hold on to that era because these guys are coming. That's just the way it goes, Skip. If you look at it, I'm sure guys try to hold on to Will and Russell and Wes, and guys are trying to hold Everybody believes their era was the best. I'm one of the it's few. It's your era. Skip, I'm good. Skip, let Gronk, let these guys. Skip, I did what I did. I got everything I could out of my ability. By them being great doesn't diminish me. You ever heard one story like this about LeBron James? I haven't. Just because you done here doesn't mean it diminishes. He's not competitive. Why must somebody go into somebody else's locker room to do that? I didn't hear no story about LT doing that. But was LT not great? Did you? LT and Reggie White was as different as they could. Was it? Reggie not dominant? Yeah, but it's hard for him. It's it's a different game of football where you can't dominate because you don't have the ball in your hands yes, you to can. dominate. Re Reggie could, so, okay. so LT ain't dominate? No, but not like w w if you're the quarterback and you went in the other locker room and said, you, 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 and you, get ready. I'm about to throw a party on you. You know why a quarterback wouldn't do that? Because he know they would put a bound on his head and they'd knock him out the game in the first quarter. Okay. But maybe somebody would have the audacity to do that and just say, I'm going to back it up. <laughs> Brady's not built quite like that, he, but he backs it up. You're, I was one of the few guys that talked the whole while knowing I was putting myself, I'm going to have to go across the middle. I knew guys were going to take cheap, cheap shots at me, Skip. But I'm going to talk, I'm going to do it. Quarterback, they not built like that, Skip. Ain't no quarterback going to go. Ain't no quarterback, oh, I'm going to throw a touchdown on you, I'm going to throw a touchdown on you, and I'm going to run a quarterback sneak on you. You're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Because defensive guys are not well, they're gonna knock you out of the game. That's just the way. That's just the way it is. They're they're, they're wired to knock you out of the game. Yeah. Skip. Somehow it's because like we, if if uh, uh uh, because LeBron doesn't do things like this, we think he's less competitive. Because other guys didn't do things like this, we feel they're less competitive. It's hard for me to imagine that Magic Johnson was in, it, Magic Johnson is just competitive. He says, I'm just as competitive as a businessman as I was a basketball player. We, he and Isaiah were best friends. Isaiah came down the lane and, I, and, and Magic knocked him out of the air, put that forearm right up under his chin. Yep. Okay. Got it. Is that not competitive? My sure. best friend. Mm -hmm. I got something for you. Come down the lane. I got something mm -hmm. for you. I've been waiting on you the whole series. We're talking about cold-blooded killer. I'll tell you I'm going to kill you, and then I'm going to kill you. That's what he did. Well, he only killed, he only killed six people. Mm -hmm. He's been lead 15 years. What happened mm -hmm. to the other nine? That's pretty good. So what happened to the other nine? So nine, so nine people got away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nine people got away. Yep. Nine teams got away. He didn't kill the man, but he didn't kill the big three Celtics. Mm -hmm. Why did he tell Larry that? Don't do the, don't do the hoax. Speaking of Larry Bird, who was your childhood idol. Yeah. I will give you that Larry Bird was about the closest to this kind of audacity as anybody I ever covered because of the classic Larry Bird story, and I was there, though not in the locker room at this point, but it was the 1986 All-Star Weekend in Dallas, three Texas. Three-point competition. And it was the three-point competition, and in one locker room, they had all the comp uh, competitors mm -hmm. lacing them up, and Larry walked in. 
looked around at his competitors and said, which one of you, and I cannot say the word, <laughs> which one of you is going to finish second? Right. Asking them to their faces, and they sat and took it. And you know what happened at the end? He held up his finger as the last ball was in the air. And I don't think he took his sweat jacket. This was a sweat mm -hmm. towel. <laughs> Is yeah. that what he didn't take his sweat okay. towel? Off? So that's nearly equivalent to this. But this was a real basketball game yeah. in which he just telegraphed what was going to happen. You, you're going to be in for a long night. Yeah, well, Larry right? do the sad thing. Larry said it was disrespectful if you put a white guy. So y'all put him on me. Y'all, coach, y'all put him on me. He would, but Larry <laughs> didn't go 6 0 in the finals because he kept running into this guy, Magic Johnson. And yeah, guess what? Magic and, and Jordan didn't go nothing in the in 80s mm -hmm. because guess what? That guy that you're talking about, mm -hmm. he was there. And the guy in the West, Magic, he was there. So who was better, Magic or Michael Jordan? In the 80s or the 90s? In career. The 80s, in the career. 80s. It was, career. In the 80s. Career. In the 80s. I need to hear you say in this. In the 80s. Better, Magic or all Michael I think, Jordan? All, skip, all I know is that this yeah. is. Hold on. Better, oh. Bird or oh, Michael? All I know. Bird or Michael, I need you on record. Bird got up. Who won most games? Head to head. Huh. You said head to head matter. That's what you told me. Better player. <laughs> Michael or Magic? Michael or Larry Skip. Bird? I'm just Michael asking you a question. Or Kobe? Skip. I'm just asking Michael you a question. Michael or Kareem? Better player. Did, did, I just want to know. If you ask me this, I'm going to answer your question. Mm -hmm. Did Michael Jordan play in the 80s? How many championships of those six came in the 80s? Hmm. That many? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. You're going to answer my question? None. I no. answered yours. Okay. Michael Jordan was a better player than Magic. Mm -hmm. He was a better player than uh, Larry. Mm -hmm. He was a better player than Isaiah. Mm -hmm. LeBron James Kobe? is the GOAT. Yeah. Kareem? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But, but, Thank but you. you know who the GOAT is. No, you, just uh, said, you said Michael was the GOAT. No, no, no. I said Michael was better than those players. Uh, I said LeBron James. Uh, LeBron Ramon James, huh. a.k.a. GOAT James. You mean the guy who has often been the mentally weakest superstar Call we've ever seen? Hey. The guy who melted down in the 2011 finals? Speaking of Dallas? 20 years. We've been doing it for 20 really? years. He melted down. Your guy had to take time off. Did Michael ever melt down in any of those series? Yeah, your guy melted down and took uh. time off, took two years off, uh. and then took another three years off. Uh. <laughs> My guy, your guy been going strong. Yeah. My guy, when he was just a baby, sec second year in the league, he goes to Boston Garden for game one of the first round of the playoffs. And it goes to overtime, and Larry Bird, after the game, the great Larry Bird said, I think I just saw God in sneakers. He was a baby? God in sneakers. He was a 22-year-old baby? Mm -hmm. My guy was 17. Mm. My guy was a 17-year-old baby mm. playing bills. Mm. Your guy was your guy at 17 was getting stamps sent to him by his mom. Mm. Your guy was doing laundry in a dorm. Mm. My guy had his own place, mm. was playing bills. My guy stayed three years at North Carolina and got stopped by the only man who ever stopped him, his own coach, Dean Smith. My guy was so good, college couldn't hold him. Yeah. <laughs> My guy was so good, college couldn't hold him. Well, you didn't go to college. That's what, college wasn't good enough for mm. him. He said, why would I waste my time with college? Mm. That's like Einstein. What would Einstein learn in school when he's smarter than anybody that could possibly teach him? Mm. What could he possibly learn? He has the highest IQ I've ever seen. <laughs> Basketball yeah. IQ. I My guy got the highest talent you've ever seen. Really? You just won't admit it. Huh. But your guy, wait a second. He he got saved by Ray Allen. Don't do that, Skip. His Don't legacy? do that. How, how do you need to get hold, your legacy hold, saved? Hold Michael on. never needed his whoa, legacy whoa, 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 saved. See, but see what you did. Now, you tell me, when Adam Vinatieri kicked a field goal, he was just doing his job. Well, he was. Okay, Ray Allen was just doing his job. Is Ray Allen, does Ray Allen not have the most three-point field goals made? Mm -hmm. Okay, he was doing his job. we have that shot if we could see There you go. Right. Why you always got to pull this shot out? This is the one that saved <laughs> LeBron's legacy Man, you a and hater. shot me right You a hater. LeBron missed. He okay. missed the, the game tire. And, and look at this. At the buzzer. How can you do this to me? How can we not get the rebound? Those are my spurs. Oof. That's basically... Hold on. That, that was Hold it. Hold on. You say LeBron missed that shot? Yeah. And the game... And the, and, the, and the story that we're talking about when uh, uh, Larry Bur When uh, Dominique and Matt... Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Jordan. Mm -hmm. Can you tell the people at home... Dominique hit a shot with 11 seconds on the clock to put him up. Yeah. Can you tell the people at home who missed the shot... That cost the that Chicago Bulls. Who took the final shot for the Bulls? Well, you needed a three. They had the three point line invested yeah. in 1979. Yeah. It came into effect. Chris Ford made the very this first is one. 1987. Oh, so the three point line was in existence. Jordan probably shot five in the whole year. <laughs> 
I don't know how many he shot. Mm -hmm. I just know he missed the final shot. Mm. That's what we do know. Everything else is conjecture. Mm. Everything else is speculation or innuendo. Mm. This is fact. Mm. He missed the final shot. Mm. The Hawks won the game in the highlight factory. All I the know is Omni. that my Spurs did get revenge the next year, 2014, over LeBron and company because they won the finals by a record finals margin in five games over LeBron. How did LeBron lose in Let five games Let to the Spurs? I know, you're, I know a guy that got swept. Huh. I know a guy that got swept. Huh. Oh, I, I know a guy LeBron went, did by the Spurs. I, I, I got swept. He got swept 2007. where? He got swept where? Finals. Okay, your guy got swept where? Mm. First round. Mm. See, only you, only you and, Le and Michael Jordan fans mm. can say, you know what, it is, it is a blasphemy that you get swept in the finals, but it's a great, a crowning achievement to get swept in the first round mm. by the big three Celtics. Only you can make that uh, argument. By, uh, with a team that was like eight games under 500 Who? in the regular season, Jordan's team that got swept by the Celtics? They, uh, how can you get, if you're the GOAT, you can't, you tell me all the time, if LeBron James is the GOAT, he can't get swept. He had missed most of the year with a broken foot. I, I don't, Skip, I, so, so was, was his foot broken when he played? Uh, he just was coming off it. No, 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 no. no his foot, Larry Bird's foot was broke. He mm. broke it off into Jordan's butt. 3-0. Mm. God and sneakers, twice. said Larry Bird. He got swept twice, uh -huh. and then he won one game. He got lucky and won one game against the Bucks. Do you remember how many points Jordan scored in game one at the Garden against Larry Bird's team? It, and that could have been one of the greatest teams ever. That could have been the greatest team ever. But, that team was on the way to winning the finals But get, uh, guess who? Guess, against Magic. Guess who all the projections and all the things says who the greatest team ever? Mm. It wasn't one of the Celtics. Mm. It was the 2017 or 2018 Warriors mm -hmm. that LeBron James faced. Mm. I, I would take Larry Bird and company over that team any day <laughs> or night. Cold-blooded killer. I, Skip, that's all I'm saying. Yep. KD, you tell me KD and Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. That's what LeBron was up against. Mm. And he went against them one time by himself. Mm. By himself. Mm. This, this kind of story must hurt LeBron. It uh, hurt how? Yeah. It's poor LeBron. He just doesn't have anything no, like this. No, no, no. Nothing legendary. No, no. LeBron, all LeBron James does is comes out every night mm. and does what he does. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.